Okay, guess what today is? Well, you've probably seen it in the title, and I'm gonna tell you anyway, so there's no need to guess. Today is a painting day, uh, which I'm super excited for. I've been craving painting for probably like a couple weeks now. Ever since I started saying in every video, oh, this would be a great painting, oh, this would be a great painting. Um, that's, that's when you can kind of tell that I'm starting to crave picking up the brush. Uh, because I really do consider myself more of a painter than a draftsman or a uh, <clears throat> like a, a drawing artist, let's say. Like when it comes down to it, I prefer to do painting than I do drawing. Um, but painting is like the less practical way for building up your skills. I mean, technically you could be doing most of the exercises that I'm doing, but via painting. Um, but it's a little bit less efficient and it's also more expensive, more difficult to do on a daily basis and, and these kinds of things. Um, so anyway, today I'm starting uh, a painting of the uh, reference that I did a quick sketch drawing of. I think I just spoke about this in, in the previous video. Um, so if you, if you missed that, you can catch up on my kind of logic there. Um, but I recently did a quick sketch, 10 minute quick sketch of a portrait um, and kind of really liked the composition and how it felt and um, it just felt like it was ready for a painting. Um, and then I did another drawing of it, but not on camera. I did that like over the weekend by myself, um, but I did show it in the previous video to kind of get myself mentally prepared for uh, this painting. So the goal for today is to just start the painting. So the first day of painting is super liberal. It's very much about uh, just putting paint down on the canvas. There's not really much emphasis on quality in the sense that like, there's no expectation on the first day I work on a portrait that it will look good or look like it has any skill fundamentals or anything underneath it. It's really what we call like the ugly stage in painting. Um, and so what I'll do is I'll start with, uh, I'll start with red paint um, and a fine brush and I'll do kind of like a little drawing. Um, and by the time the drawing's done, it should actually look decent. Like that, at the, at the end of a drawing, um, moment, there should be something kind of resembling the portrait on the page. Uh, but then the next step is to take, um, to mix three colors. So I'm using cadmium red hue, uh, I'll use ivory black, and then I'll use titanium white, um, and I'll use the biggest brush that I have, uh, which I believe is like a, a size 20 or a size 18. Um, if I had a bigger brush, it, actually probably that's about as big as I need to go on a small canvas, but the idea is you use a very large brush, brush size relative to what you have on the canvas. Um, and then you mix three values, a light, a, med a mid-tone, and a dark. And I put in all those values and I try and block in the entire portrait. And generally at this point, the painting is very ugly. Um, because you've kind of, you know, it, it's, you, you've lost a lot of that tact that you have when you do like the drawing and the lay-in. Um, but the idea is that you put a base down and you have some paints to work with. So that when I come in tomorrow, I can begin to kind of refine and work on these shapes and modify. Um, painting is more, for me, like a process of modification where you're kind of like slowly, slowly, slowly working away, working away, making modifications until you're getting the, the piece that you like versus drawing is a little bit more, uh, is more controlled. You're kind of, you're very precisely building, building things up from nothing versus painting is more, you have some, like a mess basically, a mess of paint and then you're trying to kind of extract what you want out of it. And the reason is like it gives a more painterly effect when you do that. Like if you want to get this kind of loose, uh, like this loose feeling of your painting, you need to kind of start with a loose base and you have to start with a messy base. And then you can kind of refine and modify what you want as you're going throughout the process. Um, so this is kind of a little bit about what I'm thinking about. Uh, and then I guess when we'll speak in a little bit, I'll talk about how faithfully we met that. Uh, but I guess let's enjoy some painting.
Okay, so an hour into this painting, um, and I would say it went more or less as uh, I kind of described or had planned initially. Um, so uh, I did exactly the process that I laid out. Just to quickly recap, I start with a, a red drawing, red lay-in, you know, small brush and kind of basically do a drawing. Um, and at the end of that, it was actually looking quite nice. Like I got, I had a vision of the, of the painting um, at that moment, which is very nice. Um, and then, after that, I began to uh, fuck it up, basically, uh, which is part of the process. So I mixed up uh, a, a light, a mid-tone, and a dark using, the, the, using ivory black, titanium white, and then the color comes from cadmium red. Um, and I mixed these up, and then I use my biggest brush that I have, and I start to fill in the gaps wherever I can. And this is what I did. Um, <clears throat> and let's see. So, I mean, I, I think I don't have a, a ton of critiques at this point beyond the fact that this is a, like kind of maybe a nice insight into the painting process. Uh, because I think you can actually see in the, when I finished the, the first part of kind of the drawing, um, there was actually kind of a nice portrait on the on the canvas and I was almost tempted to you know take a step back or leave it and come back to it tomorrow and, and just kind of like try and preserve that uh, but I know the way that painting works and I know that what happens next is you tend to move into the ugly stage and you kind of have to move into the ugly stage um, because my objective is to cover the canvas and paint and then I can slowly work in then refine the things that I want um, and if you watch like a lot of different artists uh, oil painting on on YouTube or something like that, like different time lapses, this is generally like the more modern, looser painters. This is kind of the approach that they'll take. Um, so one of my favorite painters is David Chevlino, um, and you know he has an incredibly loose style. And actually, this idea of taking the largest brush first and working down to smaller brushes. Uh, is what I took from him. I'm, I'm sure he didn't invent that idea, but I was watching a process by him and that's where I learned to adopt that from. Um, and so, yeah, so I, I kind of went forward with that process and now I've ended up with something that's like pretty ugly, I would say. Uh, but there's zero discouragement here uh, because the assessment of a painting is it cannot be done after one session or two sessions or, you know, maybe after three or four is when you can really start to get a sense of like what is actually, what's the life of this painting. Um, but yeah, there's just no way I can make a, a critical assessment of it in terms of it being good or bad. Um, I can just say that aesthetically I liked the drawing lay-in that I did <laughs> and with the, with the red paint. And then aesthetically I'm not really enjoying what I see right now, but this is the this is the process, right? This is the nature of the painting. Um, so, you know, the enlightened artist knows not to make any judgments at this stage. It's too early. It's too early in the process. Um, and so what I've done though, is I have a nice, uh, nice painting to come in and work on next time. So tomorrow, hopefully I'll be able to do that. Um, I don't want the painting to dry too much. You know, one day of drying is about right. It could be two, two days, but like, I wouldn't really want it to fully dry because I want to still be able to work some of this paint and work a little bit wet into wet. Um, so I'll, I have to go back to it just by the nature of the medium in the next day or two. Um, but we'll work on kind of refining it and getting it a little bit more, you know, slowly but surely rebuild some of these things. Um, starting, you know, probably with the outline of the face and then I'll move a little bit into hair and kind of like these larger shapes, like things that are, are much larger. Um, and then finally, gradually moving into features, defining a bit aspects of the nose, aspects of the eyes and the lips, um, and until we have a finished painting. So this is our current play. I'm, I'm super happy to have pushed the paint around, that's for sure.